weekly horoscope for Aquarius for the week of May 8th, 2023. Hello, my airbenders. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has. I really appreciate the love, energy, and the support. And thank you all who are subscribed to the channel. It lets me, it motivates me to continue doing what I'm doing. So at this time, we have Trans Pluto, which is in Virgo, trining and forming a kite energy with the South Node. Lots of beautiful changes happening, but change is happening happening for better or for worse energy is energy mars is not well aspected at this time um in your sixth house so you can be accident prone you may not get anything done on this day you could be seriously absent-minded with this energy moody and brooding with this energy this is a time for positive communications lots of clarity going on for some of you who are not being dictated by mars energy in cancer you can feel fearless with this energy and getting things done i feel for some of you you may literally have to push yourself out of bed and drag your ass to the gym and stuff like that and drag your ass to work because it's gonna be like ah but you get it done anyways you can be receiving some much needed good news again your emotional self is dictating your money situation so be careful because saturn is well aspected at this time um this can be business picking up you're very ambitious you can be fearless, but Mars is not well aspected in the sign of cancer. So again, you're being dictated by your emotional self, okay? So as long as you stay in a routine and you make yourself in your routine, you know, like get your, you know, like for me, I do my beet juice, I do my dates, my pecans, because they give you a lot of energy. So when I'm not feeling like I don't have like any energy, I literally delve into my oats and my pecans and stuff like that to give me energy, not into my caffeines and my coffees, because then I'm not going to want to do anything. Okay, so just be aware of that at this time. All right, so you're gonna have to delve into your, your things that make you um, give you energy you can be, this is a great time to invest in your routine with this energy and see things all the way through you can be very productive not all of you are going to feel this energy for, for some of you you may Netflix and chill all day not do anything you may even try to go home early okay because the energy is going to be that heavy so it just depends what you do so you pick and choose your battles you know the moon in the 12th house in the subconscious it was forming a yod energy this is potential energy that you can talk it um, tap into this is also known as God energy um, this is a time you want to go out and you want to make friends and you want to want to want to you want to find romance you're interested in finding love but it's up to you again Mars not well aspected so it's up to you instead of sitting on your hands you need to go after what you want at this time you know um, you don't want to DM someone at this time and let them know your feelings but you still have a crush on them and you still like have an emotional like you you want you know you could just say I want to be friends you know what's the matter with that you know you could talk and be friends you know like I have um, my my friend's husband um, like did that he kind of like went he started calling me like out of the blue and now he's like my like my best friend like we talk all the time and all day you know so it's kind of like that sometimes you just have to like take the initiative and just make friends with people you know so it's up to you what you want to do you can be going back and forth on certain things that you want to do at this time and being more of an observer so this could be missed opportunities coming up with this energy you want to make friends and not make friends you want to socialize not socialize at this time so for for some of you, you may not socialize at this time. You may just sit on your hands and just do your own thing and be in hermit mode and feel damn miserable about it with this energy. So you have to take more of initiative when it comes to making the friends and when it comes to putting yourself out there with this energy not everybody's a bad guy not everybody's gonna torture you or embarrass you and stuff like that not everybody is going you know don't allow past traumas to dictate what is going on with your future then on wednesday i feel this is um Pluto in retrograde, and this is going to be forming a T-square. Actually, it's forming a square with your third house, your fourth house at this time. So this could be traveling coming up for some of you, or this could be a move happening with your eighth house series. For some of you, this could be receiving some much needed good news in regards to a loan. This could be a very busy time for you. There could be growth happening for you. Your relationships with the women in your life become more intense. You tend to be the subject of emotional control and you lack objectivity at this time. You will be more independent and self-reliant as you move away from this situation and you just learn to say no a few more times to this person. 
person. You may experience difficulties with the women in your life, your mother, your wife. Um, you're trying to control you and your relationships or telling you what to do at this time or talking you out into getting a relationship at this time. So be careful with that. I don't allow nobody to make this. You know, some people, they screw you like that. So I would be careful. You can be accident prone. I feel like you need to cock those damn brains before you shoot that damn mouth off at this time because you debate with others or argue with others and then it turns nasty because you can't handle it, you know? Pluto's not well aspected in your natal chart. You really can't handle it. Like, the moment you feel like you start losing, like, you start losing your mind, you know? So be careful with this energy. Uh, pick and choose your battles because some things are not worth fighting. You know, if somebody is not convinced about your argument and what you're saying, then just leave it alone. Some people just want to argue for the sake of arguing. Like, you could be arguing with an Aries this week, and they love to argue. It's like, they live for it. I mean, it's foreplay to them. It's like, damn, let go of the bone. And it's like, mm-mm. You know, once that Aries start arguing with me, I'm like, bye, bitch. I walk right out. I'm like, I'm not having it. Bye, you win. You know, and then they're like, no, 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 wait, come back, come back. I like arguing with you. I'm like, I don't like arguing with you. And then we get in an argument about how I don't like to argue with them. Oh, yes, it's very, it's a very, very long time. You know, <laughs> it really is. It's like, oh, my gosh, because they just like to fight. They're fighters. You know, I'm not. I'm like, I'm a pacifist. Um, so for some of you, this is dealing with real power struggles and control issues with your significant other. Um, changes can happen with your relationships. You could be um trying to they can be trying to dictate your situation it could be a difficult time for you i feel you could be feeling very much stuck in your ways of thinking you see what you want to see at this time and others could be fighting with you this could be social injustice injustices happening things can seem a bit unfair at this time you could be pointing it out and kind of um shaking the snow globe at this time and other people may, may not appreciate it and you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time at this time so it's best to watch your reactive self and remember to think, tank, 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 and everything is cause and effect with this energy. So just be careful with this energy at this time. Then on Thursday, you may not be getting along with the women in your life. Again, expect wrenches to be thrown your way, domestic unrest. This could be things breaking down in the home and things not functioning well. Just see them as an upgrade, okay? Someone can be trying to get you to open up about your feelings, and you're not having it at this time. You could be in silent mode. For some of you, you could be dating somebody at this time, and they want you to open up about, their fe about your feelings and talk about your feelings, and you don't want to. For some of you, you could be literally in hermit mode and in your feelings about things and just want to recharge that's what you really want to do and not talk you know and not open up about your feelings um, with this person for whatever reason so this could be a little bit problematic with love relationships for some of you this is new love coming into your life and this could be a long-term relationship or even a new client and this could be a long-term or a friendship there's also it's also something's not well aspected you could be again mars not well aspected so you're being dictated by your emotional self so i'd be really careful with fighting with other people starting fights with this energy um for some of you like i said you're not really productive with this energy here as well i feel also with this energy yeah same energies pick and choose your battles be careful with your health okay um your relationships outside the home you could be fighting with siblings that live outside the home as well with this energy or anybody that your neighbors you could be fighting with during this time period as well or this could be dealing with property managers you know you're just not getting along with certain people so there could be like a lot of drama going on and you know people everybody wants to be right at this time you could also be accident prone arguments debating abound uh, you know health issues can be coming up at this time so yeah just be careful then apollo is in retrograde in your 10th house you have a kite energy happening in your 10th house as well you have a yod happening um with your 10th third and fourth house these this opportunity is coming up i feel like for some of you here it's a nice time period for you you can be wanting to make more friends you're wanting to you know get your feet wet and start flirting and start putting yourself out there you may even try to even though i don't suggest it right now because mars is not well aspected this week you may want 
want to upgrade your face at this time or start working or working out with this energy because you want to put yourself out there and you want attention at this time, you know, from the opposite sex, same sex with this energy as well. So for some of you, you're more interested about dating at this time. And I do feel like you could do that, you know, with new love, long lasting relationships. Um, but at the same time, you know, you have to make, you know, especially my males, you got to, you know, make it a point to talk to the females, you know, my gays, you know, that's, that's a different, so, okay, okay, some of you, I do talk to you about this, so you know, we running in a different, it's, we, okay, there's a bunch of swimming pools here, I'm talking about the straight swimming pool, and then there's the squirrely sw swimming pool, which I love to dip my hands in, and my toes in, and be like, hey bitches, and y'all like, hey, you know, but, I'm talking about the straight swimming pool because the straight swimming pool seem to be having a little bit of a difficulty, like either making up their mind, taking initiative and asking people out. And instead they want to sit on their hands about things and think and think and think and think. Okay. So this could also be missed opportunities coming up for you, even in regards to career at this time. And, you know, you got this beautiful kites energy and stuff like that. But at the same time, you're shy and you're not, you know, you're not taking charge. You can be dealing with like low self-esteem, but at least you're trying, you know, you're trying to do some, you're trying to change your look with this energy here. Okay. For some of you, this could be, um, you know, like you're like making new friends at work for some of you this could be getting um a little work done on your face this week you know to try to get more attention from the opposite sex so you know this is like you know this is change but at the same time you're not really taking initiative this week for some of you and you're not making things happen so you could be basically in hermit mode this week so it's up to you to be the deliberate creator that you are and make things happen for yourself okay instead of sitting there alrighty because probably even when Pluto goes retrograde back into Capricorn you're probably still gonna be sitting there <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what you doing? Nothing. I've been doing nothing all this year. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be like that. So it's up to you what you want to do with this energy. Let's see what the damn cards have to say. You are a stickler for the rules at this time with this energy. And then what I do daily horoscopes and also your monthly horoscopes are up as well. So be sure to check out those things um, too with this energy. Um, the three of wands, I feel this is a time of movement, progression happening here with career and slowly things are improving in regards to career during this time period the seven of wands i feel like certain things in your life can be a bit of a process at this time like dating okay um because you have to take initiative but you don't want to so that's okay um so for some of you this can be a frustrating time for you because things are not happening as quickly as you want them to or you have to make things happen at this time Alrighty, the page of coins for some of you you're more about your response responsibilities at this time and taking care of your responsibilities and you know making sure that your children are fine and stuff like that and focusing on your children and their mental well-being but you know what you got to be happy too so this is something to think about okay the um, four of cups for some of you you're definitely sitting on your hands procrastination happening so you're just putting off certain things putting them off putting them off putting them off at this time the ace of coins this is all about creating your own reality you know so it's up to you what you want to do with this energy here this week for some of you this could be getting a job you can be put in a leadership position at this time and you may get paid more money for it the five of cups ooh, not good here okay so you can be dealing with regrets should have would have could have you're definitely sitting on your hands about things you're very hard on yourself at this time so don't be very hard on yourself at this time i feel also you're very frustrated for some of you you're doing something sneaky or somebody around you is doing something sneaky and covering their tracks somebody could be spying on somebody at this time and covering their tracks okay and not allowing anybody to know but what happened if you allowed somebody to know what happened what would happen you know I would do it. So anyways, the Queen of Cups, ooh, reconnecting with somebody here. I feel like you driving yourself crazy. All these Cup cards, she's telling you to go with the flow, okay? And the Five of Cups here is like, you are just like a ball of emotions right now. So I would really be like, I would do st st stuff to make yourself happy, you know? And just be about you at this time and just like, 
focus on your happiness, maybe your self-worth, developing your self-confidence at this time with this energy here, you know, because you're really like going through it emotionally for some of you with this energy, okay? Um, the Knight of Swords, I do see new love, okay? For some of you here, it can be, it's complicated, okay? But I do see new love. I do see you getting another source of income or a second job or a side business could be doing well at this time for you. The Judgment card, major decisions are coming up at this time. For some of you, you could be dealing with court this week. I feel for others of you, you may not be on speaking terms with certain family members at this time. You could be cutting them off with this energy. This could also be dealing with a divorce and you don't want nothing to do with your with your um, ex with this energy, all right? You could be trying to walk away from the ex. The strength card, you can be more about like what is right in life, but I would be careful how you go about doing things because you're very intense and passionate, okay? So again, you could be getting, it's correlating with the astrology. You could be getting into a lot of fights with other people because of certain injustices or certain things that you feel are right, okay, that are right by you. And you could also be a bit of a bully or others could see you as a bit of a bully or just like really pushing your agenda on to others so I would be careful pick and choose your words pick and choose you know you could be very passionate at this time and some people can't handle that so I would just be careful with this energy and like you know arguing with other people because they can't handle that you know the um, ten of swords a reversal of fortune can be happening for some of you okay with this energy go with the flow this week it's not the time you know sort of like wrong place wrong time kind of situations the um, knight of cups I see a lot of people have been getting this so there's a lot of pregnancies happening happening a lot of baby booms okay um i feel like this could be in like an emotional transformation for you or if you're like if you're like a nurse that works like with like doctors that deliver babies i don't know obstetrician and, sh and stuff like that OBGYNs. you know this could be because i keep saying this there's like a lot of baby booms happening here okay so tis the season i guess so yeah you could be very busy at this time or this could be a transformative time for you okay the knight of wands this could be a beautiful time for traveling for some of you and spending time with your partner at this time. This person could be like your partner in crime. So this is a beautiful, fun time for love relationships and going and off and having adventures with your partner. For others of you, this could be flirting that turns into dating, that turns into something else. So this could be a beautiful time for new love, despite the energies that it be. I feel also that this is a time, this is a great time for communications for you. So speak up now for else forever hold your peace. You're able to convert other people's arguments to your to you're able to create your argument to be stronger and convert other people's argument to make your argument make sense i do feel like you could be dming somebody and it could be like a really nice love happening i do feel like also with this energy here you need to pick and choose your battles with others the lover's card i feel there's a player here but I feel like you could turn this person into a stable relationship, okay? I feel like once they find you, you know, they'll put their player ways and then they'll be more stable, all right? And they'll take you seriously. So this is a beautiful time for love relationships. I feel also this is a great time for contracts and negotiation. There's a future with this person, all right? And then for others of you here, this could be like... Um, like dealing with like work contracts and stuff like that. So there could be a lot of good news in regards to career and career growth happening for you. The nine of coins for some of you could be more focused on family um, this week with this energy. For some of you, this could be dealing with a family reunion. This could also be traveling coming up at this time, or this could be a move to be closer to family with this energy. The nine of wands, I feel you're closing certain chapters in your life and it could be bittersweet for you with this energy here. So it may take a lot out of you you may not be ready to make certain decisions in your life but I feel like you will eventually I feel like this relationship coming up in your life is going to give you some much needed confidence the eight of wands for some of you you can be going on holiday at this time or going on vacation with this energy here as well the eight of cups i feel that you're taking care of your responsibilities with this energy definitely going on an adventure with this energy or you're reluctant to create a new chapter in your life because it's going to bring out new experiences and new beginnings and you could be scared about that the what ifs the unknown the justice card dealing with the court with this energy here as well so for some of you here definitely dealing with contracts and negotiations for some of you i feel like it could be a long time before you get your news 
um, in regards to court, okay? The, and it could be like that's something that you've never done before too, like in a divorce. So it could be like a whole process, okay, is what I'm seeing. And it could be like a little bit of an adventure because it's always something different or something new that you're learning. Whatever decision you decide to make at this time, there's no going back on your decision. So if you decide to go through the divorce, you know, there's no going back on it and it's going to be a long process too, Okay, because you never had, had this pers this experience. And it's going to be a learning experience. The death card brings about changes coming to you this week with this energy. The chariot, I see a victory in regards to court or court going your way at this time where things could be um, very fair. I see certain obstacles may no longer apply in your life at this time. For some of you, if somebody owed you money, you're going to get that money. Okay, the empress card, I feel like this is climbing the corporate ladder at this time. So this is a beautiful time for career, of course. I see traditional dating coming up. Yeah, this is a serious relationship. This person is going to put their player ways away for you. All right. I do feel like there's a reversal of fortune happening, like I said. And be careful with buyer's remorse or unexpected expenditures could be coming out. You're definitely sad about ending certain cycles in your life at this time. You know, so you could be grieving a relationship at this time, going through a divorce at this time. And it's a very sad situation is what I'm seeing. Alrighty. I love you, my airbenders. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses. Mm.